Miranda Fenner, along with other Minot State students, finally pulled into Minneapolis at 6.30 this morning, more than 24 hours after starting their trip from Minot to the cities for a music conference. Fenner, along with 100 other passengers, spent most of yesterday on an Amtrak train stuck in a massive snowbank near Rugby, North Dakota. It was about an hour after we got on the train, um, we stopped and we hit a 25 foot high by 200 foot long snowbank. The train got stuck. Um, was it so we jolt or just slowly slowed down? Um, I was actually sleeping, but they were trying. Usually, the train can push through the snowbanks, and we made it a far, a far deal into the snowbank, and we thought we were fine. But then the snow got caught up underneath of the train, um, causing us to get stuck. Right. Um, so it was around 7 o'clock when they made the announcement that we were stuck. They then sent um, two freight um, cars to try and dig, pull us out backwards. They also um, brought in plows and um, bulldozers to try and remove snow from around the train. Crews finally got the Amtrak out of the snowbank at around 7 o'clock Wednesday night. Well, we always had food and water. It didn't get too terribly cold on the train. Everyone was fine. So made for kind of a long day though, huh? It was a very long day. Like I said, our train was seven hours late to begin with and then we were stopped an hour away from our home <laughs> for 12 hours stuck in the snow. Um, right. And then we had another, another how many hours to get to Minneapolis. We were on the train for a full 24 hours for right. what was usually a nine-hour train ride. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.